Yes, oh, I would too. Oh, yeah, pull us. Yes, oh, I would too. Oh, for now. Dee, we, 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 Dari na nebo, wamfu na wo. Good evening, Owami oh, here. I'm putting back for all entertainment. Today's top news: Tabo Best has been arrested in Tanzania. Child, like that whole serious issue <laughs> would have been exhaust. We almost became professional for a little bit. Ah. Anyway, hi my ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's your girl, oh I'm in HBO Jaru, aka Miss Fia for God of Putting Back for All Entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, I was really welcome. Please do make sure that you subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you and do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly Owami. Now my ninjas, today we actually have great news. Hence, you guys are seeing me so joyful and jolly because the dead man Tabo Best has been arrested all the way in Tanzania and obviously again just proving to us that they just don't want to find Ubushi Risham. I, I don't I don't even want to lie like I'm just like so Bushiri and Avele you guys are not gonna find him the Guptas nothing okay you know we do understand because Tabo Best is a killer and if anything I do not like killers out here Shibabam K. I do believe that killers do be, uh, belong behind bars and all of them belong behind bars anyway ninjas yes um, what you guys are hearing from me is what is being alleged so I'm gonna go ahead and say allegedly but obviously um, I have actually gotten this from some reputable uh, media houses um, so there is actually um a whole article that was written by day i mean sorry sunday world um and y'all know it's serious when sunday world comes out here and it ain't even a sunday honey okay south africa's most wanted fugitive tabo besta has been arrested in arusha a city in tanzania east africa according to the country's security officials government sources said besta was arrested with two others in or arusha city more than four thousand kilometers away from home. Arusha is a multicultural city with a, ma a majority Tanzanian population with minorities being European and North American backgrounds. Um, Police Minister Begitele and Justice Minister Ronald Lamola were expected to provide further details on Besta's arrest later today in Lightly Torn in Pretoria. Both would attend a cash-in transit crime scene in Lightly Litton where at least two people were allegedly shot dead. Lomala spokesperson Crispin Piri told Sunday World that the minister would either confirm or deny Bester's arrest. Um, government was also expected to formally brief the media at the Chedimotseto house in Twane just after lunch. Bester escaped from prison in um, Mangu Ma, Mangua, uh, Mangaum in Bloemfontein in May 2022 where he was serving a life sentence for murder and multiple rape convictions. After staging his death in a fire incident this was in an alleged collusion with pol uh, prison officials who were handsomely rewarded for their role. According to reports on Saturday afternoon, Besta was arrested by the International Crime Police Organization Interpol um, an international crime combating agency that facilitates worldwide police cooperation with crime control. Efforts to reach Interpol for comment were unsuccessful. SAPS crime intelligence sources said on Saturday that police chiefs were in Durban with Bester's arrest was confirmed. It was reported that Bester's uh, accomplice and girlfriend Dr. Um, Nandipa Magudumana was really spotted in Kwazul Natal. 
<coughs> now you guys see me in such a joyful mood honestly this is for all my sisters out there that have been raped by this monster and obviously my sisters that have died unfortunately due to this monster of a human being um now you know they are saying that interpol got his ass child i don't even want to cause um so they are saying that interpol got his behind um and allegedly he is arrested so they're saying that the police minister Ubekele, um will not you know say yes and he will not say uh, uh, uh no um but you know it's big so <laughs> anyway um so obviously as you guys can hear they're saying that um that is he he was got in tanzania now honestly and this is not even me joking does interpol just not work in malawi like i'm just not understanding why is people like bushir still at large like why can't they arrest them and bring them back to the country i just don't understand that part but anyway guys i will not lie i do feel that this is a victory for us not necessarily for the police because let's not lie it was not saps that actually got turbo best that was actually them guys over that other side okay so i do know that ubegikele might come out here and try to take credit jew is not taking credit especially like i just am not giving them any credit whatsoever you guys are the are the incompetent ones that literally got um you know where a killer got on the loose under your watch you know so for me i don't i don't think that it's a win um for the saps or anything i just personally feel it's a win for all the women that this monster has raped for all the women that this monster has killed because we do not know how many um now obviously with this whole situation i do feel that you know tabo best is definitely just he's a dead man walking um do i think that he's gonna serve his term and finish absolutely not i don't think so i do believe that they are definitely going to wanna get rid of him um you know number one there's a lot of people that had to be involved to actually pull this off now you guys need to understand that some really high people up there have to have known about this and will be implicated um in this whole situation so obviously you guys know how it goes they might actually say hey we're gonna strike a deal with you if you tell us exactly how you went out exactly who was involved then you know we can give you a lesser sentence and trust and believe tower Bester loves his freedom hey if he is not gonna get it one way he's gonna get it another so i do believe that he is a man that is going to be Pereza. like everything you understand and so i do feel that at this point everyone that was involved in this hearing that interpol is even um involved in this issue now there's not a lot that they can actually do the crime i mean the case unfortunately has gained way too much traction this is a man that was arrested allegedly died and then he was not and he was out here living walking like literally they can like have a movie about this i do feel like there might be a special that comes like you know either with netflix or with showmax and y'all if you decide to have that special please can you also like invite me i'll be like one of those people in the documentary sessions where i'm just like when i heard about it i was very shocked even my followers were shocked we were all shocked i was getting so many messages people wanted to know what was going on like <laughs> i think i was born for this role so y'all better you know no i'm kidding actually like he's dangerous and he's really dealing with some dangerous people that can actually get things done but i am really excited and you know in case you can't see um i'm really excited that this man um got caught now they're saying that dr nandi has been spotted in kwazulu natal um i do hope that they also bust her and i do hope that she actually comes out and tells ad what stupidity and what medication is you on to being this dumb gulp how is you going to go out there and throw your whole life for a rapist and a killer it makes no sense to me it absolutely makes no sense to me but again if you are someone that just chooses not to believe when i talk to you guys um about certain stuff 
I did say that that guy ain't in Zimbabwe. That one I know for a fact. Um, they would never like, you know, do anything that would point to where they are. And so they're saying that he got arrested with two other people. So I don't know who those two people are. Um, but then again, I guess, you know, we will see your baby guy like coming out and talking as if he's the one that did all the work, him and his guys. But we know that it was definitely Interpol. So thank you so much, Interpol, for um, coming in and rescuing and saving the day. Um, at this point, I do not trust, you know, the justice system to like, it, it, I already had trust issues with them. And so those trust issues have just, you know, gotten even more. You mean to tell me that um, right now we may be sitting and there's somebody that, cause there's a lot of people that, not a lot, <laughs> let me not lie, not a lot, but I do know that there's this other guy, he was almost like a terrorist back there in Venda. Um, the guy, honestly, like he was constantly in jail and we just grew up hearing the tales of him, like how dangerous this guy was. He was constantly in jail, like jail was like his home, honestly. And then, you know, they said that, oh, he died in prison, something happened and we were like, oh, Thank gosh, you know, I mean, don't judge, you know, we're like, at least he ain't coming back. Um, but now you mean to tell me that we could be sitting here and we just hear that actually that nigga is alive and well, he's out there. Like, I have trust issues now. I have trust issues. But again, as I'm saying, guys, I do believe that Tabo Besta is actually a dead man walking. Um, it's either, you know, there will be allegations he tried to escape and got shot. Um, there might be allegations that, you know, he was in a car accident and he died. Um, there might be allegations that, you know, he was assassinated somehow. Maybe someone that is part of the victims, you know, this and this, obviously. Um, or you might find that they're alleging that as he was arrested, somebody in the in jail um you know took his life i don't think that is gonna live a long life um do i think that he might he will even live to see this case um fully go through and finish i don't think so but again you know we are gonna see what actually goes on um unfortunately he messed up big time but his mess up is a good one because at least the people that actually um you know experienced injustice from this man are going to get their justice um but do you mean to tell me that i will help you escape a whole freaking prison and you is going to go and stay in sentin and go buy food go police is you stupid or is you dumb <laughs> i'd be so mad i'd be like nigga i put my life i put my job on the line like my freedom and you is going to go to sentin of all places and did you really think that a beard and hair was enough disguise? Guys, a lot of people are actually in, 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 in crap right now. A lot. This took a lot of people definitely. And it definitely has to have taken somebody also in a point of authority. So anybody that knew about this, that job is also on the line. And so that's why I'm saying that. I honestly do believe that it's a dead man um, walking. But anyway, um, yeah. I want you guys to go and comment down below what you guys think. A win is a win. A win is a win. Whether if he's really dead or he's in prison for life, we will take either one, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm still honestly just so shocked that a man that is supposed to have died last year already, you mean to tell me he's alive and they've even caught him? And you all better do some tests. Are you sure it's not a ghost? Because the last thing we want is for you to bring a ghost from Tanzania to South Africa and mess things up in this country. We don't get no hurricanes. We don't get no, um, um, you know, like all this funny, funny stuff. And then before you know it, you bring a ghost to South Africa and the, the weather changes and everything. We don't want that. So just make sure that you test him. Put some lights next to him if they start flickering. <laughs> Anyway, I love you, Nages. Stay blessed. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye, Nages.